So this video is being done in partnership with NVIDIA. Now, no, I am not making one of those videos. I'm switching from Mac to PC. They actually sent me an email and said, Armando, we would like for you to take a look at one of our certified RTX Studio laptops that can actually edit 8K. That can't be possible. I was a little bit skeptical and I said, you know what, send it over. Can I compare it to my Apple MacBook Pro latest gen? They said, you can do whatever you want, compare it to any computer. Just, we want you to take a look at it. I said, okay, I will do that. I will compare it to the latest current gen MacBook Pro to the laptop that they sent me, which is the Gigabyte Aero 15 inch OLED. It's got a Core i9, 2.4 gigahertz, which is pretty much equivalent to the MacBook Pro that I will be testing it with. It has 16 gigs of RAM. 512 gigabytes of M.2 PCIe storage, which is really fast. And of course, Nvidia's GeForce RTX 2070 GPU. Now, what makes these laptops different is that these are certified by Nvidia. So they have these unique drivers that are completely different from gaming drivers. In fact, when you download, if you go into the GeForce experience, you can set which drivers you wanna download, whether you wanna buy this laptop specifically for gaming, or you can set the studio RTX drivers. And what they've done is they've worked with software companies like Adobe, Red, DaVinci Resolve to take advantage of the GPU. So that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at the performance difference a Studio RTX has in comparison to a laptop that is not optimized on the software side to take fully advantage of the GPU. So Nvidia sent over some project files, but you know what? I wanted to use my own project files because I have 8K footage that was shot in a five to one compression ratio. And I really wanted to punish this computer. So the first thing we did was we loaded Red Cine X Pro, which is Red's proprietary software to decode R3D files. And the result was actually quite shocking. So at full playback, the Gigabyte Aero 15 was able to play this 23 to 24 frames per second very smoothly. Again, this is taking advantage of the GPU. Now, when I tried the exact same test on a fully loaded MacBook Pro, the most expensive one that you can buy as of filming this video today, uh, it couldn't even play. We were getting on average three to four frames per second, which was actually very disappointing. In fact, we had to lower the resolution to 1.8 in order for it to play back smoothly. In comparison to the Gigabyte Aero 15, which is playing 8K real time, five to one compression at almost 24 frames per second. Now let's go ahead and switch gears to Premiere Pro. So we loaded the same exact 8K files onto the timeline, got about two minutes and 30 seconds, same files with the five to one compression ratio, set the playback to full, and to my surprise, it actually did pretty good. There were some very minor stutters here and there, but overall, I mean, surprisingly, it played very well. On the MacBook Pro side, it wasn't as good. Um, there was clearly a lot more lag, but now let's go ahead and do a pre-render test. So we wanted to see how quickly it would pre-render the timeline. And the results were still faster. The Gigabyte Aero 15 was 24 seconds faster in pre-rendering. Then we decided to do a full export from 8K to 4K and see which computer would be faster. So just like the pre-render, the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED was actually a minute and seven seconds faster. Now keep in mind, this is two minute and 30 second clip. So if you have a clip that, let's say for example, is 10 minutes long, you can see there will be a huge time saving in terms of export times. But this isn't about Mac versus PC. It's about software and hardware optimization working together to have a better experience. And this gets me really excited to see that NVIDIA is working with software software manufacturers to really take advantage of the GPU performance to obviously help us as content creators get better speeds and obviously make things a lot more enjoyable to do because editing is one of those things that we just wanna speed up the workflow and I'm glad to see this. If anything, it makes me sad that Apple does not use Nvidia GPUs. I've always been a fan of Nvidia. In fact, my current PC that you see back there is running a Titan X, which again, big fan of their stuff. But yeah, the future is bright and I'm excited to see other manufacturers, not only on the software side, but also vendors like Gigabyte and also Razer, who is another partner of NVIDIA, take advantage of these Studio RTX GPUs. But uh, I'll leave more information linked down below if you guys are interested in learning more about NVIDIA Studio RTX certified laptops. If you guys have any questions, hit me up down below in the comment section. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching. You guys will catch me in the next one, adios.